Hi guys, you here from Blender Bros. Welcome to part two. And in this part, we're gonna be adding models to this scene. Now, if you're using machine tools, all you need to do is press Ctrl S to recall this high menu. And if you don't, you simply go here to file and append. So Ctrl S and we're going to append. And we're gonna append from another file. So what you wanna do is wanna go to this 3D models packed blend and append. And what we're gonna append is collection. And we're going to append the ship and the tower so click both and append and this will load these both models into the scene okay and they're going to load in here on the top which is uh, perfect and now we're going to grab this cross here which is an empty and all the parts of this models are of this model are parented to that empty okay so what we're going to do is gz and drop it down and well not so low uh, somewhere here and scale it down and we're gonna grab this tower, just click on an empty, scale it down, okay, and drop it down here, all right? And then we're gonna go click on the camera, click Control Z on the numpad, and, and go here, and click on this empty of the ship, and bring it in here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna place this ship on the ground, so GZ and hold shift, and you can slowly drop it down until you see that the feet of this vessel are actually sinking in the ground. So you don't wanna sink it too much, right? But you don't want it to be floating on top of the ground. So now RZ and let's rotate it a little bit. And then we want to position it in a way that there are sort of openings between the wings and the legs. You can see that this wing is covering the front leg and it looks kind of weird as if it was standing on one leg. Just looks really weird so when you're positioning items it's really important to understand you know how to how to rotate them to make them look a little bit better so what I want to do is want to create a tiny gap here between these two legs I can see this leg here and now I understand how this ship actually stands G shift Z and let's move it somewhere here maybe somewhere closer to us but not too close somewhere here that's fine maybe a bit closer to the edge somewhere here and maybe RZ and rotate it a little bit towards us. Not too much, just a little bit, okay? That's cool. So that's our vessel, uh, G shift Z. We could actually move it a little bit closer to the edge. So that will be okay. Now our human's gonna be somewhere here and our tower needs to be moved closer. So G and move it closer here. We could either put it somewhere there behind this uh, dune or kind of, uh, you know, offset it a little bit here, somewhere over there, but make sure it's not floating as well. It's really important for this not to float, okay? Now it's a little bit too big, so we can scale it down and uh, make it a bit smaller, but not too small. G, Shift, Z, and move it closer to us. G, Shift, Z, and G, Shift, Z, and move it closer, there we go. Scale it a bit more, ng, and drop it down somewhere there. That looks pretty cool. A little bit to the right, so gx, and a bit, a bit to the right, somewhere here. That's awesome. So we got the tower, we got the ship. Now we need the human, and the rest is going to be in Photoshop, all right? Now I provided you with a link to download this warrior file, okay? So I want you to go to cgtrader.com and download this free model of... Uh, kind of like a warrior or a cyborg, whatever. And it's a really cool model for a free model. It's actually quite amazing. And it comes on textured, but I'll show you how to texture this, okay, really easily. So what you need to do is you need to uh, duplicate it. So let's, uh, you know, duplicate it in here. And we're going to add some mud to it, okay? So we're going to click on mods and remove the mods I added. And what you need to do is simply press new and then, you know, create a mud with a color, maybe a little bit darker and let's say metallic, right? So that's one. And if you want to add another color to it, not a mod, uh, we need to create not a mod. So uh, we can either duplicate the warrior, I'll just create like a cube or something and put it in here and create a new mod and make it, let's say yellowish, okay? Something like that. And now what you need to do is grab this, uh, the one you want to texture and go to edit mode, to face mode. And when you hover over a face, you can press L in order to select specific areas that you want to apply this yellow texture to. And then all you need to do is click on the plus and then go here and then select from this uh, list of materials, uh, your yellow material and assign, and there you go. 
And if you want to mirror to the other side, simply mirror it through the modifier, okay? Now the emissive one is really easy. So let's just click here to duplicate this mod. Uh, click here on this principle and emission. And we're going to change it to like a blue emission or something and pump the strength, all right? And then we're going to select this warrior and then select these eyes, okay? So L, L, come on, L and L, and then plus and this one and a sign, and you got the mission. And this is how I textured, you know, this uh, guy on the on the left here. Okay, I cannot provide you the file because you know I don't own it, but it's a free file, so you can download it and do it yourself. All right. Once you do that, okay, what we need to do is we need to export it as FBX. All right. So we can delete this collection here. So right click and delete Karaki because we don't need it. Select the warrior that's important and press Ctrl S with machine tools and go to export as FBX and make sure that this is ticked on, okay? Limit to selected objects, all right? And we're gonna title it warrior uh, to FBX and export, all right? So what we need to do is we need to open Mixamo website. So let's go to internet and go to Mixamo page. And what you need to do, you need to be logged in to your Adobe website, okay? To an Adobe account. So make sure you're gonna log in, otherwise you cannot access this site. Click on upload character. And what I need you to do now is I need you to drag and drop this uh, FBX file, okay? So drag and drop it in here and it's going to upload. This might take some time depending on your internet speed, also on the load on the website. Remember that Mixamo is a free site, so there's a lot of you know, there are a lot of people using that. So there are occasionally quite a heavy traffic here, so you might need to wait like a minute or something. But usually it just you know doesn't take too much time, okay? So my character now is loading, so we need to wait. Once it's loaded, I'll show you how to set it up. So the character was loaded. Uh, we can go next, and now this is important. You need to be very precise. You need to assign chin, wrists, elbows, knees, and groin to a specific area. So chin, uh, we're gonna go here, and you need to be really precise, guys, okay? The more precise you are, the better, and uh, you can see that it snaps to this line in the center, so you can position it in here on the chin. Then let's grab wrists and put it in here, okay? Then elbows and put it in here, and then knees, and put it in here, and groin, and put it in here. And then we're gonna click next. If everything is set up correctly, you shouldn't have any problems, and if you have any errors, go back and simply you know, make sure that you position these circles correctly. So now what Mixamo is doing is actually rigging this character, adding bone structure and armature for us to be able to assign one of these animations. And you can see that our character is rigged down. So let's click next and next and it's gonna load in here. Now what we need to do is choose an animation. What I suggest you do, go to page number seven and there is a kind of a natural walk simulation animation here. This one, click it and it's going to load it in. And boom, you're good to go. And now what you need to do is download the file. Okay, so we're gonna download it to our drive. Once you download it, you can actually drop it in Blender, okay? So you're gonna give your name here, Standard Walk 2, and we're good to go. So you can close Mixamo website, and we can actually reset this file here. So general, and we're going to load it in, okay? So Control S, and we're going to import FBX, right? Go to Downloads, and Standard Walk 2 here, import. Now this character is gonna be huge, so we need to make it smaller, so mesh, and cube. And remember, cube is two meters, so we need to, you know, scale it down. But remember, you need to scale it down with the armature, okay? So scale it, you know, with the armature, scale it down to something smaller, like this, all right? And now we can actually see this animated. So let's go to front view. Let's pull up one of these panels, and let's go here and choose timeline, okay? And now when I'm going to press play, this character is gonna walk, okay? The animation is really short, but it's a full cyclic walk. So now what you need to do is pause it, move it somewhere here, go to side view, and choose a frame that is kind of a natural looking sort of a walk like this, right? And maybe a little bit shorter, you know, something like this. Something like that will do. That's pretty cool. The arms look a little bit unnatural, uh, but uh, let me see if we can get some better frame. Maybe this one is better, something like this. Or maybe this one. That's actually pretty cool. 
with this chosen, right, what we can do is go here, click on a human, go here. And we can apply this because we're not going to be actually, you know, changing this. And uh, once you do that, uh, you can hide the armature, so press H. Now click that and you can Control C that, copy object, and you can load it into your previous Blender. So we can close all these Blenders here. And basically click here and Control V to paste it and you got a human in your scene, okay? So let's uh, select him, if I can. There we go. We can hide this armature and scale him down a little bit more and then G, Shift C and move it closer. Go to top view and make sure that he's close to the ship, okay? So he needs to walk from the ship to the tower. So we're going to rotate him on Z axis. So he actually walks away from the ship like this, right? Then we're gonna go to the camera and control zero. And now we need to scale him down, okay? So uh, position him on top of this um, desert here. Rotate him a little bit more. So it kind of looks cool, something like this. There we go. And drop him a little bit lower, okay? So it kind of sinks into this uh, sand a little bit, okay? A little bit, all right? Something like that. It's actually too deep. Something like this, okay? Cool. So I think this is pretty fine. Uh, we could make him a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller, kind of like that, which is going to, you know, kind of uh, make this whole scene look bigger because the smaller the human, the bigger the scene, right? Makes sense. So it could be even smaller than that, to be honest. Remember, he's going to be, you know, kind of uh, fitting in a cockpit here or so. Something like this will do. That's pretty cool. Awesome. So we got that. And make sure that he's on the ground, okay? Because we need, you know, we need the shadows here, all right? So this is set. And in next video, we're going to be rendering this scene. I'm going to show you all the settings and everything we need to do to make this uh, render correctly. And we're going to be creating a few renders because we need more than one for editing. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next part.